Hey, man, the new Slate FGX2 makes mastering so easy, even you could do it. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. Now, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new mastering plugin from Slate Digital, the FGX2. Before we do that, though, we're going to take a little overview tour of why mastering is important in modern music, a tour of the new plugin, and then I'll show y'all a workflow so you can master your song in just minutes, all right? So let's go ahead and jump off into it. First thing first, what is mastering's place in modern music? Well, historically, mastering was mainly to kind of make sure that your mix could be translated and played on different mediums. For example, you mix onto tape and then it's going to be put onto vinyl for records for people to play or maybe even CDs or CDs and vinyl. So all these different mediums, mediums. But now in the digital age, that process of cutting wax is just not even what master engineers do anymore. So what do they do? They focus on enhancing the quality of your mix, right? Maybe some frequency enhancement, some stereo width enhancement, some saturation enhancement. They also balance out the frequency content to make sure that if you are listening on small speakers or giant stadium speakers, your mix will still sound good and translate. And also you have to make sure that you're hitting the loudness targets of modern streaming services. So those are the three main principles of modern mastering. Now let's take a look at the new Slate Digital FGX2 plugin. All right, so once you open up the FGX, you will notice that there are basically three main sections. You have the compressor, you have your metering section in the middle, and then over to the right, you have your limiting section, right? Now, over here on the compressor, you see we got the basic ratio, attack, release, and threshold basic compressor stuff. You might want to use this compressor to add like some glue to your mix or to smooth out those dynamics before you actually hit the limiter. In the metering section, this is going to give you all the metering information that you need. You'll be able to see your gain reduction on this graph here. You'll be able to see how many luffs you're hitting for your streaming targets and all of that. You can even set these targets yourself so that your metering will in will change colors based off what your targets are. So for example, if I said my target was negative 10, anything below that, uh, above that would start, you know, hitting the red, right? So I can basically set my, my top and my, my ceiling, how I want to set it. Over on the right side, we have the FG level. This is where we're going to apply our limiting and some saturation into the mix, right? So really simple and this is the easy mode you can get more control by hitting this little button at the top and switching over to the advanced mode in the advanced mode you'll see that you can do mid side compression using the fg comp what else do we have here over here you have the low punch and detail right this is basically going to enhance the low frequencies transients or enhance the high frequency transients and you can set the different roll offs set the filters for those as well you also get some transient drive and balance right that's not available when you're on that easy mode so you can really dial stuff in or you can just keep it really basic if you want to you got your ceiling control and of course you got these other modes down here that determine the response of the actual limiter itself all right so you got clear tight punchy and loud and those all are going to be based on your preference and the style of music that you're working on over to the right is we have some cool options here we got our listen modes where we can listen to the difference and listen to what's being removed by the limiter we can also just listen to the mid channels solo the sides or solo the left and right this button here is the constant gain monitoring this is a great little feature to make sure that you are actually, when you're bypassing the limited version and the unlimited version that you're actually able to listen um, and, and hear not just the loudness changes. So oftentimes when we hear changes in level, we'll perceive that to be better. But virtually, virtually when you turn this on, when you bypass this plugin, everything stays the same at the at the same level so you can actually hear what kind of artifacts are being introduced or distortion or whatever changes are actually happening to your mix minus the loudness changes the tpl is the true peak limiting you want to make sure you keep that on so that you can have true peak limiting for your streaming services right and then you got your dither over here and your output meter really simple to use and pretty straightforward 
Now, let's take a look at some really cool feature that I think is really dope and a lot of y'all are going to love about this plugin. One, if you go over here to the presets, you hit the little preset button, you have two types of presets. So you got your audio presets, which will actually change how your audio sounds and how it's being processed. But for me, the more exciting thing is going to be these metering presets. If we go down to the stream and then drop down, you can see all of the updated um requisites what i guess the requirements um for the different streaming services so for example amazon music apple music deezer right we have all of these modern ones so if i go ahead and say you know what i want to master this song for apple music you'll see that my target has changed to negative 12 and so that when i'm looking at my metering everything will be based off of that negative 12 assessment there with that negative 12 target. Now, of course, I got my range that it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to play with. If I go to Spotify, you see Spotify is a little bit louder and there's up to a negative 10. And it also gives you a little bit of wiggle room there. For me, though, I'll probably start off with my Apple Music since it's at negative 12 and I have a range of four uh, LU that basically loudness units. I can plus or minus four and I'll still be in the green. All right. That is a quick look at the FGX2 plugin. That's our little tour there. Now let's talk about how I would actually use this. So uh, basically I have a mix going on here. Let me just play a little bit of this. I kept it real simple on this so that we can just focus on the actual principles itself of this plugin. I don't want to get lost up in mix and stuff. I'm going to play a couple of seconds of this mix and then I'll walk you through the process of how I would use this to master my song in just a couple minutes. I could play. Yeah. Plans got changed had to pivot. But I could play every position. All right. So we can see that my lust is pretty low right now. This ain't what they wanted for is not going to hit my target of negative 12. So one of the first things that I would start off doing is actually doing some compression and bringing some glue and kind of tightening up these mix while also restricting the dynamics of it. Now, I wouldn't go too hard with this compressor. Um, and I would start off with like a basic attack and release kind of mid time. But I would try to get no more than three or four dB of gain reduction. All right. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing that. I'm going to start off by just adjusting the ratio and seeing the gain reduction. that we get. I could play. Yeah. Plans got changed. Had to pivot. OK, we starting but to get that meter to move. Position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? To get more punchy, we're gonna have a slower release. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice game. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip. Take up two lanes. I'm going crazy. To get more punchy, to get more punchy on this, we want to do a faster release and a slower attack. I could play. Yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot, but I could play every position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice game. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip. Take up two lanes. Cause I'm going crazy. They look at me like Hussein. <laughs> Old players right. in the new game. Cash still rules everything. Word to All right, now that sounded pretty good. After I got my compressor set, the next thing I want to do is go over to my limiter here, the FG level. So for this one, I want to kind of start off by setting my ceiling. The ceiling is going to determine, you know, how loud the overall mix is going to be. And for this, most of the streaming services are going to want y'all to be at about negative one dB true peak. So I, I got my true peak limiting turned on and I got my ceiling set to that negative one. From here, I'm just going to start to adjust the gain until I'm hitting some of the loudness, getting close to the loudness target that I want. As I do that, um, I can also go and affect a couple of other things if I need to. But first, let's go ahead and get that gain to where we want. I could play. Yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot. But I could play every position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams Multiplying million dollar schemes Take off, got took off from a dice game PNB couldn't even rock his own chain Yeah, they hate you when you whip Take up two lanes Cause I'm going crazy They look at 
Now, I could also use the low punch here to start enhancing some of my low frequency transients. And you typically want to do this after you've set that gain, after you're hearing what the uh, FG level is doing to your mix. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and en enhance some of these low frequencies. I could play, yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot. But I could play every position. If I want to bring out the snare more, I can hit the detail. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice game. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip, take up two lanes. Cause I'm going crazy, they look at me like Hussein. <laughs> Old players in a new game. Cash still rules everything, word to Wu-Tang. <laughs> All right, now the vision is rare. From here, I'm gonna adjust the, the mode, right? I think I wanna go with the punchy mode for this boom bap type of song, but I'll uh, cycle through each of these modes so we can hear the difference. I could play, yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot. But I could play every position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice game. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip, take up two lanes. Cause I'm going crazy, they look at me like Hussein. <laughs> Old players in a new game, cash still rules everything, word to Wu Tang. <laughs> Having vision is rare. A bird's eye view, couldn't see it this clear. All right, we got this little snapshot button to where we can hear before and after. So I'm gonna I'm a play this. Let's go to B and see where we were at before we did these changes. I could play, yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot. Okay. But I could play every position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice game. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip, take up two lanes. Cause I'm going crazy, they look at me like Hussein. <laughs> Now, if I wanted to increase the saturation on this, I could actually add a little bit of drive. Let's see what that sound like. <laughs> I could play, yeah. Plans got changed, had to pivot. But I could play every position. I surpassed every prediction. This ain't what they wanted for me, is it? Cause I got billionaire dreams. Multiplying million dollar schemes. Take off, got took off from a dice I game. I like that. PNB couldn't even rock his own chain. Yeah, they hate you when you whip, take up two lanes. Cause I'm going crazy, they look at me like Hussein. <laughs> Old players in a new game, cash still rules everything, word to Wu-Tang. <laughs> Having vision is rare, a bird's eye view, couldn't see it this clear. They even shot the king from the rooftop. Murder everything, but you can't make the truth stop. And just like that, this song is mastered and ready to go. I'm hitting my loudness targets and I can start to bounce this down and upload it to any of the streaming services like Apple Music, Spotify, or Tidal. Now, do I recommend that you actually do different masters for each of the streaming services? Absolutely not. I'd say you pick one that's in the middle. And again, with that four uh, loudness unit range, you'll be hitting, you'll be pretty close to wherever you need to be. So um, that's the main part. Just make sure that when you're done, that it's still dynamic and it still has the feeling that your original mix intended and you will be good to go. So to wrap this up, I just want to point out again that, hey, mastering is not the dark art that it needs to be. Once you have a really good mix and it's ready to go, now you just need to really focus on making sure you're hitting your loudness targets. A plugin like the FGX2 really makes that simple and easy to accomplish without messing stuff up and getting all technical and complicated with things. Slate Digital just released the FGX2, which is part of the All Access Pass, or you can get it as a standalone. Visit slatedigital.com, log in so you can get it right now. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Let me know what you think about this mastering process. Is this gonna make it easier and cleaner, more transparent for you? Let me know down in the comments. Be dope.